I'm Angela Wamboy, and these are the stories making headlines on Capital TV. Authorities have assured that Kenya's capital, Nairobi, which is East Africa's economic hub, will be well secured before, during, and after the August 8th general elections. Nairobi police boss Jafet Komis says they have put in place a detailed security plan which will involve deploying personnel from all security agencies, including prison warders, Kenya Forest Service, and the National Youth Service to secure all parts of the city considered key because it will be host to the National Tallying Center. Observers from the European Union have stressed the need for authorities to take firm steps in ensuring a secure election following fears of possible violence in the event of a disputed result. What I would like to state... Um is uh, this city is greater than all of us. This city is greater and much greater than all of us. All of us, we have a responsibility to ensure this calm and tranquility. As um, politicians carry, carry on with their campaigns, as we go to the general elections, and also as the results are being announced, we are going to protect life and the property. Therefore, our people should be feel free. Residents of this city should feel free to go on 8th August and express their democratic rights and votes. We shall be there covering all the polling centers. All the tiling centers will be covered and there will be adequate security. The Mavoko Sustainable Neighborhood Scheme, which is part of the Kenya Slum Upgrading Program, is on its final stretch. Slum Upgrading Department Assistant Director Charles Waguru says the project comprises of 463 residential houses of varying sizes. The 1.6 billion shilling scheme, which covers 22.74 hectares, is a mixed-use development that will promote coexistence of beneficiaries across various income groups in one gated community. The objective of Kenya Slum Upgrading Program is to improve the lives and livelihoods of people living and working in slums and the informal settlements. The concept is where people from the low income groups, the middle income and high income will be able to live together. The low income earners, we have their records, we know who they are. The low income earners will get a total number of 214 units and the balance of which is 249 units will be allocated to the general public who will be for as part of the sustainability and cross subsidy to be able to give subsidy or liberty to the ones that will get, be getting the houses for the low income area. President Uhuru Kenyatta on Tuesday held a series of political rallies in Machakos County to drum up support for his re-election. Deputy President William Ruto, who accompanied him, urged residents of Masinga during a stopover to elect the president in the forthcoming general election for the betterment of local infrastructure. Mumesha amua watu wa masinga. Mume amua mabado. Ni ule mzee ya kitenda wili ama ni uhuru kenyata. Ni buwana kitenda wili ama uhuru kenyata. Wale wanasema uhuru kenyata nione kwa mkono. Sawa sawa. Ebu tuelewane watu wa masinga. Sawa sawa. Mambo ni mawili. Eitha muna kubali tuendele na mpira huyu, mpira huyu, kitenda wili pale, kitenda wili panda hile ingine. Ama mkubali hile kazi meshimiwa raisa meanzisha. Reli amejenga, ni kweli si kweli. Barabara karibu kilomita sitini, hapa machakos, ikiwemo yenu hii ya kutoka matu. Sasa kuenda ikalakala, mpaka kanguko, itatengenezwa. Munataka kazi yo yendele? Sitima, kazi ya kusambaza sitima, munataka yendele? Bara, mambo ya maji, munataka yendele? Sikina mama hawa wanajifungua bure hospitalini leo? Munataka kazi hiyo yendele? Sasa mina uliza nyinyi watu wa masinga. Munataka kitenda wili yanze ama kazi yendele? Munataka kitenda wili yanze ama kazi yendele? Munataka propaganda yanze ama kazi yendele? Kenyatta exuded confidence in winning yet another term, saying the development record set by the government is out for all to see and cannot be wished away through mere talk by opposition figures. Wengine walikuwa wanapiga siyasa, ituiko kasema apana, 
Wacha watu wakitui wakunywe lakini mimi nataka watu yangu ya mazinga pia wakunywe hii maji. Na hiyo maji ndiyo sasa inaelekea hapa na inasambazwa katika masinga lakini pia watu wakitui hawajakosa hata hawa pia watapata. Tunaelewana? Si hiyo ndiyo kazi ya kiongozi jameni? Au kazi ya kiongozi ni kucheza siasa? Eh? Kazi ya kiongozi ni kujali maslahi. Tumesambaza stima tukiwa pamoja. Na mimi naamini ya kwamba tukiendelea vile tumeanza. Mimi sina shaka. Yale ambaye tumeweza kufanya tayari tumefanya na yale ambaye tumepanga pamoja tutafanya ya kubadilisha masinga na kubadilisha maisha ya watu ya masinga. And finally, taking a look at the world of sports, while expressing her satisfaction with the preparations for the IAAF World Under-18 Championships at the Moy International Sports Center and the Kenyatta University, First Lady Margaret Kenyatta has told the local organizing committee to ensure that they deliver a world-class event that will reflect the best of the country. A total of 131 countries will be represented in the championships that starts in Nairobi on July 12th to run until July 18th, with some of the teams expected to arrive this week to get a custom ahead of the event that will be opened by President Uhuru Kenyatta. The first lady, who is the patron of the event, on Tuesday inspected the facilities where the athletes will be accommodated in a special games village. For me, the upcoming IAAF World Under-18 Championships offer a fantastic opportunity for us to recognize the diverse talents and abilities of, our youth, of youth across the world. Every competing athlete will serve as an inspiration to young people globally. We are especially proud of all the young Kenyan athletes, some of whom I met today and who are even now hard at work preparing to participate. They have the best mentors and champions, such as Catherine Dereba, Pamela Jalimo, Julius Kariuki, and John Gugi, among others. And that's a wrap-up of the day's top stories. I've been your host, Angela Wamboi. For more on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke.